Hey everyone, so welcome back to another two minute Tuesday demo where I try and squeeze everything into a two minute demo just showing the simple way of being able to do some small things that you may or may not have heard of from a Veeam point of view. So today, well a couple of weeks ago we touched on Veeam backer bio control, so being able to control how much impact or if any impact was going to happen on the VMware data stores um, when a backup job was happening. So today we're going to keep on that trend and we're going to go and take a look at, and there's lots. So maybe, maybe the next couple of weeks we're going to be focusing on some of those areas around or how do we enable us to sit quietly taking those backups without impacting performance or throughput or being able to get the most out of maybe getting as much data to somewhere, like a backup repository, as possible. So we'll touch on that. Okay, so first of all, the use case here, and this one in particular, is on my home VBR server. So I'm at home, I think it's 65 meg download speed, it's a 20 meg upload, let's say. I don't want, well, I have backup copy jobs, as you've seen in other videos, set up to go to um, service providers. I've also got some uh, cloud, uh, not, so capacity tier configuration configured to be able to send data to Azure capacity tier, um, or their Azure blob storage for longer term retention, but also just a second copy off site. But obviously my restraint is, well, during the day, I need all of that bandwidth available for all of these many Zoom meetings that we're on. So and I, I, there's a way of automating this, and I, I probably will do a bigger video on this, but in terms of the, the two minute, let's jump straight into where you'll find this. So let's remember my internet is shared in my house, used for all of my Zoom calls and everything else that's going on during these times. But if I jump down into, into VBR, we've got this network traffic rules. And by default, we have this, um, this network traffic rule already created. So anything that goes out of the internet, what do you want to do with it? So if we jump in here, now I've changed this. So by default, this is any to any and it's not throttled. I don't believe it's encrypted. I may have just changed that, but I believe that, I, I know that it's not throttled. So name, internet, so this is the default. Any source IP address, so basically anything within my network that VBR is controlling, out to the internet, I'm going to encrypt and I'm going to throttle that. And I'm not going to do it all the time because obviously there's there's time between midnight and 6 a.m. You can see down below in this in this um, in this graph, I, I'm enabling or disabling the throttle. So this can go full hog. It can use all the bandwidth during this time, but during the blue time. I need that to be limited and you can take one meg. Now this could be dropped down into, into various different um, categories or you can say just all the time. Really depends on what the network looks like and what you're trying to do. So that enables me to get all of my data for the most part off into a Cloud Connect backup repository off to the cloud. Now there are certain other options or rules that we can add here and we can basically say, right, anything coming from here to there, I want to encrypt, throttle, etc. We can do that. More applicable, really, if you're in a, let's say, a wider environment, a wider network that you potentially are moving data between here and there, potentially all on the same layer three, but you you just want to be able to control some of that that encryption for one, but also being able to throttle that back so that we're not encroaching on any anything to cause issues from a either an internet point of view or just network in general. That shouldn't really be a problem in today's um, today's world and today's networking, but it will still be out there for some people. Yeah. And then this one down here, this use multiple upload streams per job. So this ultimately allows us to have multiple, uh, well, as many upload streams as you, as you can squeeze into that. So in, just reading the text, improves job performance through better utilization. So if you think you've got five concurrent streams of data being sent up to the Cloud Connect backup repository, 
obviously that's going to get done faster, but it's also going to use a better, it's going to utilize those links better if they're high latency links. Um, if you're run, disable the option if you are running a large amount of concurrent jobs or for networking equipment compatibility serv uh, purposes. So this is a choice whether you want to. I've run quite a few tests here. Five seems to work. Six, it doesn't allow me to get all of my data up into the Cloud Connect. Or, and, or sorry, anything lower than five doesn't allow me to. Six just maxes the bandwidth out and it's pointless at that point. And with that, hopefully that was, you found that useful. There's lots of these different windows scattered around um, Veeam Back and Replication, or in fact, all Veeam products. Um, I'll always encourage everyone to go and take a look, see what's out there. Um, yeah, until next time. Thank you.